So let's now look at trademarks. So here's a quick video that explains the differences between copyright and trademark. Copyright protects creative works, such as writing, visual art, music and audio recordings, from unauthorized reproduction. On the other hand, trademarks are brand names, which are labeled to products and services. The mark is a distinguished sign, like a word, phrase, symbol, or a combination of these elements. A mark is used in business, to indicate the source of the brand, in order to distinguish and identify it in the market. Trademark protects the customers, by preventing the public confusion, as to the origin or quality of a product. In addition to rewarding the brand owner, by maintaining his business successful reputation, a trademark infringement could happen, when a likelihood of confusion, exists between trademarks, which means that the brands are very similar, that consumers would mistakenly believe, the two products come from the same source. In this case, the fake brand has to stop misleading the market, and is liable to pay damages, to the original brand owner. At the time this video was being produced, a trademark was defined as a way of identifying a unique product or service. Um, it's sometimes referred to as a brand, and it can help customers discern quality of your product or service. A trademark is not just a logo, it can be a letter, a number, word, phrase, sound, smell, shape, logo, picture, movement, aspect of packaging, or combination of these. And then there's design registration, which is essential in the industrial design field, such as the registration of a chair. So trademarks will be sought by a company for branding, which includes the logo in its various applications in different formats, such as how it appears across the packaging, signage above shops, the color, the typeface, the shape, the form, the line, etc. There'll be rules applied in the trademark about how these design elements are to be used and arranged. And these are explained in the style guides of the branding. A trademark has to actually be used in accordance with its style guide and terms of use. The whole process of gaining a trademark is expensive, so you're only going to see a trademark on branding for really large companies that really need to protect their intellectual property. This includes government services and agencies, non-government organizations and private companies such as retail, food franchises, etc. It's unlikely that trademarks will exist on smaller startup companies or local mar and pa stores, sole traders, etc. You know, the local bakery or fish and chip shop. There's a whole bunch of information on the IP website about all manner of design items, including color, such as this example here. Here are a few company identities that you'll be well familiar with that have all trademarked their brand. So just to recap, a designer may either need to trademark their design, such as a logo identity, by applying for trademark registration, or they may need to work within existing style guidelines in terms of use of an existing trademark, such as a freelancer who may have been employed to produce a specific publication and they're only allowed to use certain colors, certain typefaces, certain typeface family within the style guidelines of an existing brand.